far this flu season, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reporting at least 30 children have died from the illness. Schools along the Gulf Coast are being aggressive in trying to prevent the spread of the virus. News 5's Bill Riles visited one elementary school where officials believe their efforts are paying off. Students at Eichelt Mertz Magnet School are seemingly always on the move, class to class, lab to lab, and for the past several weeks, something else has been on the move through this school, too, the flu. I'm trying to get my appetite back, but overall, I'm getting there. Today is my first day back. Just a few days ago, the entire cafeteria staff was out. Students who have gotten sick from the virus can be out up to two weeks. I've been telling parents if children have any type of symptoms, keep them at home. Because of the severity of the flu outbreak, the staff and students have been trying to fight back. Principal Adams says they've really tried to attack the flu here at school. In every classroom, you'll find tissues, you'll find wipes, you'll find disinfectant. And in all the common areas, like here in the library, you'll find hand sanitizing dispensers on the wall. In the computer lab, keyboards and mouse pads are sprayed with disinfectant between classes. In fact, that goes for most surfaces someone could touch. Whether it's a desktop, whether it's a water fountain. It's One student in each class becomes the designated hand sanitizer in this constant battle against germs. And because they've remained vigilant, their efforts may be starting to pay off. Based on what other schools throughout the state are talking, we have. We've minimized um, our absentee rate. Adam says teachers and staff have all gotten flu shots as well. She says those who still got the flu seem to have a less severe case. In Mobile, Bill Riles, News 5.